Looking for fast, cheap, and reliable coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuckReserve.com. Head over to MuckReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got super cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And we have a really, really, really big day now. Playoff promo's here. And quite honestly, guys, playoff promo is looking like one of the more fun promos we've had in a while. Not like, not like more fun than Christmas, but... Playoffs is actually pretty immersive with a lot of stuff to do. Because in years past, guys, playoff promo has been as simple as a few packs, a few players, call it a promo, and let's head on out to the team of the year and further on. Playoff promo seems pretty immersive with stuff that actually pulls into the uh, Super Bowl, and that's how it's supposed to be, right? In the OG days of Madden, back in like Madden 13 in those days, playoff promo and Super Bowl promo were intertwined. There'd be solo sequences that led up to the Super Bowl promo. If you completed those, you can compete in the Super Bowl ones and get like 50 to 100k and some free in just a moment but guys before we do get into the video if you're into the channel subscribe turn on the notification bell come join the family like the video and of course if you need coins for any of these playoff players head over to mutt reserve and use code poodle for 30 percent off your order take advantage boys but enough of that let's get into this so first thing you want to do when you come over to a new promo is the nfl playoffs missions tab read it it says get your team in the playoff form in playoff form complete these missions to earn playoff players and collect super bowl prep tokens that you redeem for an elite super bowl player in february this ends February 5th, so I'd imagine about four weeks of this of challenges to do now. The Super Bowl player seems pretty intriguing. So it's going to be kind of similar to like when you collect for the team of the year player or the, or the legend player. Pretty much what you're going to do is you're going to go play. You're going to go complete some of these challenges. They're not solo challenges. They're mid, like the challenges are objectives. You're going to complete the objectives. And as you collect tokens, if you get up to 12 by the time uh, it's February 5th, you will have enough to get an elite Super Bowl player, which is pretty cool. Come on here. Earn a 95 overall playoff hero. So if you play the solos and get 60 star, which is really easy, you get a free 95 overall NFL playoffs hero, which is like the Metcalf and all them now. I'm not sure if you can choose it just yet. I'm not entirely sure if you choose it, but if you can, that is a banger pack. Either way, it's some good, but I'm pretty sure you can choose it. Usually you can. Um, it'll be pretty, I don't know if they give you a random one of like the, you know, 28 there are, because you know, there's, there's one defense and one offense per team. So I'm not sure if they're going to do that. Our playoff here is the Super Bowl prep launch. This is what we already went over. So this is it, guys. For the Super Bowl prep launch, these are going to be the challenges that you have to do weekly. Now, this is going to change from weekly. So remember, if there's four weeks and they queue five per week just about, it leaves us with about 20 total objectives, which means you only have to complete 12 of the 20. So, for example, beat 20 solo challenges. Easy. Done. Win 15 out of 10 matches. Easy. Done. 10 solo battle games. Easy, but I won't play solo battles. Let's assume three, right? Win five squad games. Easy. Now, win a head-to-head -head Super Bowl. Now, here's the thing. You may not be good enough to win a Super Bowl, or maybe even if you are, guys, sometimes the, the cards just aren't in your favor. Like, you get to the bowl and you have a bad game, or you get to the bowl and you verse like a God Squad. So, let's say you complete four of these and you can't do that fifth one. I don't think you need to front, because quite honestly, if you think about it, it's more than likely that you can, you know, if there's four to maybe even five weeks of this, there'll be more, more challenges. I imagine they change a weekly to a week where you probably get all five done. And theoretically, if you do all four, if you do four to five weekly, it'll be done in three weeks. So, I don't know if the Super Bowl Elite player is literally an elite player, like, 85 plus. So that would be a troll. So I don't think they would go that route and quite honestly do that, but you never know. But I think it would be something pretty good. Maybe, like, a 90 plus, maybe a 95, maybe a 96. Maybe it will be a high overall card, like one of the heroes, right? Maybe, like, a 96 Super Bowl hero. Again, we don't know, so I don't make any promises yet, but this does seem pretty intriguing for the most part. And then, of course, earn playoff heroes. We're going to go over... Um, so earn two playoff heroes by completing challenge and sets, earn the playoff master, of course. All right, so let's head on over to the sets, show you guys the sets, then we'll head over to the block. But we do have an NFL welcome pack, which is pretty interesting here. All the NFL playoffs welcome pack. Let's go check that out. So we're going to get the Steve Smith, of course, the low overall, because he is going to be the master. That's actually super cool card art. Now, you can quick sell this for 225 training, which I'd probably just recommend, unless you like to have the card for any reason, or your budget squad. But other than that, you can take the quick, easy training. That's some super cool card right there. Now let's head on over to the sets and go check it out. Here's the thing. I believe they did just take the set down. So there's a glitch set, which I didn't get to go over yet. So there was another set right here. It was the Steve Smith Master set. It was glitched. Now for all you guys who probably did it already or had issues with it, you're probably going to contact EA Help where they will do make rights once they get to it. So the Steve Smith set right there was the Master set. As usual, you put, you know, you have to put three heroes in and you get back three Nat heroes and Steve Smith, of course, right? So I went to go do the set. Now I, I wish I would have... I wish I would have shown you guys before when it was still there. I went to do the set, and of course, I went to go do it. There was three cards put in. Now, you know when you have a card that can put into a set like this, like I'll show you guys. 
It has the plus sign. So the plus sign means you have that card. So I went to the deceased one set. It said I had I plus signs in all of them. So I was like, oh, I wonder what I have for them. I don't have heroes. My Aeneas Williams team captain was able to put into a set. And I was like, oh, it's one of those stupid glitches where it tells you to put a player, but you can't. So I clicked on Aeneas Williams, and he literally went into the set. So the set can actually take your team captain. Now, you could have probably completed it if you got two heroes quickly and put them in these wounds. And what I heard was from Glitch, it wouldn't actually end up giving you Steve Smith. So, pretty much, you would do the set and then you lose all those players. So, I don't know how EA is going to like remedy this. At first, it would have been really cool to give up my Ines Williams and two heroes. Get Steve Smith back, get the heroes back, and then EA has to make or everything back. Would have been a free, would have been free everything. Or... They just give me everything back, right? Or they take everything and then just give it back to me. And then give me a, a make right for messing me up like that. I don't know what the remedy would have been. But again, that was the first glitch ready. The first set. The only set really in this in this promo is going to be that. Which kind of sucks. Now here is uh, this one. Besides the glitch. 95 overall player celebration fantasy pack. Earn exchange 3 89 90s. 5 87s, 88s. And 7 85s, 87s. Earning fantasy pack. Containing your choice of any overall. 95 overall playoff celebration player. Not gonna be any of the heroes, so again, this this could be end up being a costly set. I mean, these cards are gonna go for yeah, six. Okay, here's the thing though: these players, can, these cards are gonna be up in price right now. So if you guys have any players that go into this set, you may want to try to go sell them. You know, go binder snipe, go through your binder, see what you can and cannot sell. Because of course, that's probably a pretty good uh, value right now, is just selling those cards. Now let's get to the playoff promo and the, um, some of the players, some of the ones we didn't see. So I'm not gonna go over all the stats, of course. I went over them yesterday, so today's gonna be more about going over uh, some of the ones we haven't seen yet. So as right there, we see Tyler, uh, Jerron Reed, sorry, I was going to say Tyler Lockett. Jerron Reed, defense attack, going to keep this quick. 85 block shed, 86 power move, 80, 94 uh, finesse move, 73 speed. Not good enough, not fast enough, only has finesse and a block shed. Uh, Denzel, where we saw Mitchell Schwartz, I did actually, yeah, I, I would have, if had I only would have gotten two for each, I would have predicted him. Mitchell Schwartz is my other one. Um, decent run blocking, great pass blocking all around. Not a bad right tackle. Of course, cards are super expensive right now. I see uh, Nelson, the cornerback for the Steelers. 94 speed. Wow. 94 speed. Let's go, let's go back to attributes real quick. 94 speed, 94 excel. He will get 99 man and will have like mid 90 and mid 90 press and zone. Had, if this car got power up, he'd be absolutely crazy. Held back a little bit. Akeem Hicks for the Bears. Let's see, 65 speed, 94 finesse, 96 block shit. If you put him at defense tackle, he may be usable and he can be powered up. But overall, I don't think he's going to be making many, you know, God squads. I see another guy. We have Matthew Judon. Or Judon. He can be powered up. He's able to sell linebacker. He's 86 speed, 91 to sell. Will get to 99 pass rush, uh, power move, pass rush cam, but no block shit. So again, a pass rusher that can't block shit isn't going to be that useful in a run against any runners. Antoine Woodenfield Jr. for the Buccaneers, free safety, the rookie. 94 speed, 93 zone. Will get up to 98 zone, sadly, because he's not going to. This car's not bad. 94 speed's amazing. He's going to be a really good, if you can get him, if you can get him cheap enough or get him as a free player, he's a great user, but he's not going to be a lot, a let alone safety, like 95 speed, I mean 94 speed with a 95 power is insane, but not getting to the end zone means you have to approach user him. Uh, we saw Ryan Tannehill already, let's keep seeing what we get up on here. Okay, let's go, let's, let's sort by new, it's probably the easiest way to do this. Okay, we saw John Brown, and then Collins, Tyrant Matthew, Alex Smith is another one, 95 overall quarterback, 85 speed, 95 throw power. 89 throw deep, so he will, if you put go deep on him, he will get to like 99 throw power, all passing thresholds, but again, not too great, nothing special, not, nothing out of the ordinary from other quarterbacks, Ronnie Stanley, again, we saw him yesterday, he's really good as well, um, let's see what else, just, yeah, guys, there's so many players, there's a total of like 28, Teron Armstead, I believe we saw, one of the guys that I, like I said, would have predicted him had I known that he was going to, uh, that, I remember that completely blank that he was on the team for some reason, I don't, I don't exactly know why, or for what reason, but I did. And when I saw him, I was like, that would have been my, my go-to, too. Joel Batonio, 95 left guard. Subpar run blocker, great pass blocker. Not going to be that useful because there's plenty of left guards that can do both, and he seems to struggle doing both. Phillip Rivers for the Colts. Let's see. We'll get 99 throw power. Cannot be powered up. Decent quarterback overall for the general, but again, you can get guys with much better speed than that at this point. That's the only issue with them getting a guy like Phillip Rivers. Like we can clearly do better than that. Uh, we got Rashawn Evans, middle linebacker for the Tennessee Titans. 90 speed, not bad. 95 hit power. No zone coverage, though. Good block shot. Kind of like a uh, kind of like Ray Lewis esque build there. Not going to anything special, though. We saw Mitch Trubisky already. Let's see, are there any other ones? There might be like one or two. I mean, who's that? Marcus Williams, free safety for the Saints. 94 speed, and he can be powered up. Okay, so we're going to have a 95 speed free safety here. 
uh, that can get to can only get to 98 zone though so again good user not gonna be insane cannot get the 99 zone let's see if there's anyone who wants to really get through here we recovered most if not all at this point but still the cards look good i mean there's some good cards here you know not all of them are meta obviously just for the fact that only 95 overall or let alone is going to hurt them being meta but i mean i don't see any like um i don't see any you know crazy things yet i don't see anything too crazy now the only thing that sucks i do want to see steve smith but of course the set is down so i hope to see him for a while so they fix that but guys i pretty much just covered the video hopefully you guys did enjoy if you to the channel hit that subscribe button turn that on your voice and join the family give this video a big thumbs up as always if you haven't already subscribe if you guys need coins to pick up these players a ton of them head over to my reserve and use code pool of 30% uh, off still take advantage of the, uh, the sale and scoop up a bunch of these heroes but guys i'm out peace